So yeah, guys, I just came back from a mammogram. So my doctor asked me to go for a mammogram now after I saw him. Because he felt that we needed a baseline, a baseline for uh, my breasts after I've had uh, chemo and radiation and my reconstruction. So I went in, um, did the whole mammogram thing and then I had to go for sonar and then it started and she is so gnawing and she's putting on jelly and she's just pinpointing and she's pinpointing and she's pinpointing and she's pinpointing and she can't even stop all she does is enter on that keyboard and all i'm thinking is what is going on because exactly two years ago where we now two years and a bit i went through the same thing and it wasn't good news so after about gosh i think my whole mammogram took an hour and a half that's how long that took for them to to try and get a baseline for my poops after i've had three or four uh, fat grafting grafting sessions they sneak by a fibrosa in all the fibrosa moet nou aangeteken word my jelle is nou so hard seer because then she says to me, Lorianne, I'm going to call the doctor. So all I want to say is, I don't know how many of you have had breast cancer, and they have all for you. But all of you say, I'm going to go to the doctor. Because guys, when they call the doctor, it's normally not good news. Anyway. Um, so she was looking at a few areas. I don't know so it seems all to be fine apparently the fat grafting creates necrosis it forms cysts and stuff so she just you know I had to double check oh I don't know what <laughs> I can't deal with this oh, I just think the hardest thing to go through is a mammogram after you've had breast cancer <laughs> and especially when they tell you to call the doctor <sighs> my goodness <laughs> anyway <sighs> this journey I'll just will never stop <laughs> and this journey will always be scary and uh, we were just never prepared for it. You never prepared for what can happen or you know. Anyways. I thought I'll share with you guys and girls what my afternoon looked like. So I went to see my doctor at eleven thirty. From there I went to the mammogram and it is now nearly two thirty. So I have been a nervous ball ever since I walked into that mammogram setup. Um, one thing I can say is post chemo, having no breasts basically left, the um, the mammogram itself wasn't bad. The sonar was the worst because that was like you know going on and going on and going on felt like she was looking for something to find anyway doesn't seem like they can find it so i need to follow up in six months anyways bye